Hello and welcome to the Walk in Love podcast. I'm TJ. And I'm Brooke. And today we're going to talk about everything. The Walk in Love podcast is, (laughs) well, thanks for listening. And thanks for making us part of your week. If you're going to wear a hat the whole time, I'm not prepared. You're not? I Could you tell? I can't. I've, I've almost never, and with the glasses too. Usually when you wear a hat, do you take your glasses off? Well, it's usually at the beach, so I'm in and out of the water. There we go. Yeah. That's why. So It's throwing me off. You wear it though. Looks It looks good on you. I'm just, just know not that used we got to some seeing... hat energy behind the podcast. Okay. Today. And also, I'm going to open up a spin drift. Right okay. Oh, yeah. that was a nice one. Uh, thank you for making us a part of your week. Thanks for listening. The Walk and Love podcast is a weekly conversation between Brooke and I about rhythms, faith, emotions, parenting. It is a place where we laugh and Brooke often cries as we try to find (laughs) language to live a full life. (laughs) And if you like, you're listening to line up with your living and probably you're weeping, you're in the right place. Let's try something. Oh. You are in. No, too long. No, way too long. You're in the right place. Yep. That's what I said. And then you'll be saved. (laughs) Um, Sponsors. Us. Us. (laughs) Well Segments, no. moving on. <laughs> if you are listening on Monday and or Tuesday. The 9th or the 10th. And or very um, early on Wednesday morning. Yeah. The collection is still live. The Christmas collection. Mm-hmm. It would obviously mean the world to us if you shopped the Christmas collection. Mm-hmm. We're sitting in the office right now. We got tons of items. They're all so amazing. And uh, some of them will probably, actually most of them will probably never return. Yeah. And so uh, buy a Christmas gift for yourself or for a friend or for a dad or a mom or a brother. Or a sister. Possibility. That's my favorite edit from the try on. I know. (laughs) Um, Obviously, uh, if it's not in your budget, don't buy one. But if it is, we would really really appreciate that. (laughs) So That's how budgets work. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's a great collection. We're Mm -hmm. super stoked with it. And uh it means a lot to us when you guys make purchases. Mm-hmm. The code for the podcast listeners is 1 million all typed out mm-hmm. uh, because we have recently surpassed 1 million listens of the Walk and Love podcast, wow. which is absolutely insane. So I have um, the Shopify award on my desk mm-hmm. for 100,000 orders. Yeah, It's like the Shopify version of a YouTube plaque. Right. And June and Sunny were here when we, like they saw me open it and, they were very excited that I yes. got a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, you don't get a lot of trophies in your adult life. Actually, I think that's should, very true. We should. Should we? Are we starting a new business? Are we starting a trophy company? We yes. are starting a new business. It's not a trophy company, though. It's an awesome company. Mm-hmm. Anyways. So they were up here and and I had mentioned that we had hit one million. Mm-hmm. And uh, June is, our son, he's like, will they send you another trophy? Oh, <laughs> I don't think cool. I don't think so. No. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who would who would do that. Yeah, because I guess ah. it's across platforms. Yeah. So like I guess maybe if that I do feel like it's a smart thing to do for those sort of big tech companies because it just like we talked about winning it. You yeah. like every YouTube person that gets a plaque, it's in the background of their videos. And so yeah. it's like, I want to do that. So I'm gonna yeah. start using that platform. Anyways. Right. All that to say, the collection is live. Uh it, it closes on the tenth at midnight. But what we mean by that is it closes the 11th when I wake up in the morning. Hawaii time. Hawaii time. Which is six hours. Yeah. So you got some time, but, but don't wait. Mm. If if you're listening on Monday, don't let yourself forget and get distracted and then message me on Thursday (laughs) and say, Hey, I I forgot forgot to shop. Uh, because uh, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. And and so much so there's nothing I can do that. My mom did that one time. Yeah. I was like, sorry, Cindy. (laughs) Can't help you. Yeah. Actually, I think I did help her, but if you're not my mom, I can't do it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, shop.walkinglove.com. Links in the description. Code is 1 million, all spelled out for podcast listeners. Speaking of my mom okay. and my dad. Okay. Steve and Cindy Macedas have entered their influencer era. Ooh. They are top posters on the Walk and Love podcast page. <laughs> okay. So my dad doesn't Which is actually, on Facebook. Which is on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, it's in the show notes if you need it. And uh, it's probably got like 400 people. We, we tried another platform. It didn't work out. Facebook is going way better. Mm-hmm. Lots of action, uh, especially from Steve and Cindy. Wow. Um, 
he posted some pictures of Cirilla, the van that Michael fell out of, mm -hmm. and a video of him driving. So wow, just incredible. <laughs> um, I didn't know because I, I don't really use Facebook very much. Yeah, I did not know that you were supposed to make your group private because if you don't, you get spammed. And so oh. for about two and a half weeks, the Facebook group was getting spammed with offers from Temu which I didn't know what that was. T-E-M-U? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. And uh, lots of jewelry. Ooh. And it was, and then you could tell it was, it was like, hey, podcast listeners, you guys will love this brooch. Insert thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no. AI. <laughs> no, we will yeah, not we love will not. this brooch. Is it private now? It's private now. Okay. So we made the switch. So we're not, <laughs> we're not getting as many jewelry offers as we'd like, but <laughs> some sacrifices. Maybe yeah. Cindy will start hawking jewelry on the <laughs> podcast page. <laughs> It turns yeah. into like your parents, like Facebook marketplace, like buy, sell, trade page. <laughs> uh, my mom would love that. Yeah, because I know. My dad's a, not, he's not a closet hoarder. Um, my dad is, my dad believes that he was born in 1910. He mm. believes that he lived through the depression, which he did not. And so <laughs> I don't know what it is about him and his need to fix everything. Here's a Steve story for you. I think fixing things is admirable. No, no, no. In a, it's not fixing things. In a, yeah. It's in an keeping, age where no one fixes 100%, anything. Absolutely. I want to fix things too. Um, but my dad loves just like, he just can't depart. Right. It's a hard time departing. And I, I think it's a trait. <laughs> are you a co-op? <laughs> I think it's a trait he passed down to his granddaughter, June, because we've been mm. cleaning out the house a little bit, getting ready for moms on Maui. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, June, can I throw away this garbage right here? And she's like, no, I need that. And I'm like, well, what is it? She's like, it's a paper that I, it's, it's mine. It, it needs to go in my special box. And I'm like, okay. Can I throw away this garbage yeah. right here? You literally call it that. <laughs> yeah. um, so my dad has a little bit of that in him. Um, mm -hmm. I think my mom would love to turn the Walk and Love podcast page into her buy, sell, trade page. Mm -hmm. I think my dad would uh, frown upon losing some of his treasured mm. goods. You know, like college notes he took when he was in college right. that are still in our house, you know, stuff that you just might like, you never know but when you're what like, if he needs you never those. know when you're like, Hey, I learned about this in science. My freshman year of college. Yeah, definitely can't Google it. <laughs> I'll be right back. The internet for sure. Doesn't know. <laughs> Gosh, uh, I love him. Um, so I don't know what I was saying. I don't either. Anyways, Facebook, Facebook page is there. Something. Less jewelry offers. There we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, collection is clo is closing this week. Uh, June, Sunny, Daisy, and I are leaving for a 10, 11 day trip to the mainland mm -hmm. um, because Brooke is hosting moms on Maui. So yes. eight women are coming to the first session yep. and seven to the second one. Yep. Um, and so you'll make nine and then eight. Yep. And I am so excited. I'm excited. One, I'm excited because it's forced us to throw away some of the garbage in our house. Yeah. Uh, which is always a fun experience for me. I love it. I'm like the opposite of my dad. The, we, I was cleaning up a, out a toy bin today and I said, can I throw all of this in the trash? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I I'm not one to overly hold no, on either, either. But like there, there are times I'm like, well, I actually know where <laughs> over half of those things go. They actually have a home. Yeah. They're just not put away. And that's uh, a, there's a difference between that and garbage. Yeah. So <laughs> not in my mind. I know. Um, <laughs> and so I, I'm just so excited. One, I'm excited for like, here's what I think is going to happen. And this is my, this is my mom's on my prediction. Okay. You have what? How many again? Eight plus seven. <laughs> yeah. 15. You have 15 women coming to Who our knows? home. Um, that you were showing me some of the group texts today, how some are nervous to mm -hmm. leave their families. Yeah. Which is an interesting, like, uh, it's a emotion that I never have. Not that I don't love my family or cherish you guys or treasure you. Right. But when I go on a trip, I, there's not one second where I'm just like. Case in point though, why, why we're doing this in yeah, the first place. Yeah. Because that was the example. Guys have no problem. Guys just yeah. leave. Guys do stuff with college people or coworkers or yeah. like they just go do stuff. Yeah. And so I was just like, without ever thinking about their family. <laughs> <laughs> like I miss you guys when I'm gone, no, I know. sort of. Um, <laughs> but I was just like, oh man, it, it made me even more excited reading those texts because yeah. that just like, when you think about a, a mom's, 
like a young mom's and uh, Christy talks about this, like your nervous system is fried. Yeah. yeah. It is at max capacity all the time, you know, just Pretty like much. questions, people touching you, like all the internal yeah. struggles and worries and Sleep, so, all yeah, the everything. And so, and, and now it, it feels like maybe for some of the, in that group text, it's almost peaking even more. Like I got to pack, I got to oh, do these all things hundred percent. Yes. And so like, I am so excited for these women to just come here and just literally just like uh, let, let down. I think it is going to be a magical, wonderful experience for them. And also for you that like, I just feel like the Lord is going to move and, and not like, Oh, he's going to, you know, he might move in some really radical kind of big ways, but like, I feel like often when the Lord moves in, especially with travel, it's like in this sort of just like soft, still way mm. that you just, you don't realize until you start traveling back that you're like, oh man, I feel different. Yeah. I feel different. I feel excited to like re-engage with my family yeah. and like be the mom that I've wanted to be, that I maybe have gotten too tight yeah, yeah. to be. And so yeah. I'm just super stoked. I cannot wait <laughs> for the group to just, for both groups um, and just for you to like guide them, just, just walk them around Maui, show them Maui, have fun, eat good food, laugh and joke and just... I'm stoked. I'm. Like, I know you are. I'm just so excited. I think it's going to be so wonderful. Um, and so, yeah, so our life right now feels a little bit twitchy <laughs> because <laughs> thankfully we were ahead of schedule on the collection. Praise like, be. Praise the Lord that we're not. There's a lot of times where we're making content in the moment that yeah. like we need somebody to post. What are we going to do? Let's take a photo. Let's go do this. And yeah. we still do that depending on like, like I made the stats about the collection. Right. We couldn't have like, made those yeah. in advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the most part, this time we've been ahead of schedule. Emails are scheduled ahead of time. Texts are scheduled ahead of time, which like, yeah. that is like a huge win That happens us. here and there. Yes. It is not like always um, for us. But now it's going to happen. Forever and always. Forever and We're always. Never going back. Yeah. Um, and so, which has been really great because we've also sort of had to like get our house ready. Yes. And Beauty Counter Holiday launched. And Beauty Counter so Holiday So I've been launched. doing that. <laughs> So I've been editing a lot of videos, um, but the house is starting to come in. So it's like starting to feel real. We have two extra beds set up in the master uh, bedroom. Yeah, so we'll, far. Yeah, we'll set up some more beds tomorrow. Uh, we got to pack. There's just a lot happening right now. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be interesting because it's like build up, build up, build up, build up, build up. And then uh, obviously you'll have stuff to do. Like you're going to make food for these ladies. But I think it's oh, going to yeah. be way more you know, making food for eight adults is different than making food for three kids, you know, <laughs> especially when these women like want to be around you. And I think you're going to have extra hands wanting to help you. And like, yeah, you know, if, if, if I was doing this with guys, there'd be seven guys watching TV while I was trying to figure out where to order food from. <laughs> um, so we've, yeah, we've just been like packing, cleaning up, getting ready to roll. And so today is a no notes. 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 No. Still the. Still I the smirk best. every time at the escalation of yeah. the volume. <laughs> we kind of do this. This is kind of a trend now for us with the collections that by the end of it, we're just like, I don't know if I could talk yeah. for an hour yeah. about something deep and serious. I have started, I have, I have caught myself multiple times that I've started to say brain power, brain power. When I'm trying to think about, like when I'm trying to remember something specific or stay focused on something, yeah. out loud, I'm saying to myself, brain power. And then I heard June go, brain not working the other day. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> but also, yeah, it's very relatable. Yeah, brain not working. So true. <laughs> oh man, you should tell the story of you taking the kids shopping. So, so it was Brooke's birthday the other day. Happy uh -huh. birthday. 37. Thank you. Thank you. You look great. Thank you. I actually, so it's a funny story. Today I walk in the kitchen. Uh -huh. I had gotten a massage yes. by Yulia. Grinded on my shoulders for an hour. Mm -hmm. I feel better. I can turn my head much You can further. turn your head. I can tell. Um, and I came into the kitchen after that was done. And I said, do you, what? You said, do you have makeup on? Said, do you have makeup on? What's going on here? And uh, but no, I said, I have mascara left on from last uh, night. No, you're you schwabity, quabity. <laughs> Something looks different here. What's what's going on? Yeah. And, and I uh, said, I haven't done anything. And I was different. like, you look younger. And then I said, oh, I've done my cooling facial globes three days yes. in a row. 
And I can tell the difference. I three was actually days. kind of shocked. Yeah. Well, tonight will be full three days. So t- explain. Okay. So I feel like it's not brand new information that having parts of your skincare or like, you know, the, like the rollers or the gua sha tools or anything like if you get it cold, it's going to like tighten and it's just, it's just, just does a lot of good things, brings the circulation, all the things. And so this year beauty counter has a holiday set that comes with the counter time radiance serum, which is like a serum to help with fine lines and all like, I don't know, the long list of good things that I won't rattle off. But then they packaged it with these two glass, like cooling globes. And so it's like this little, it's their glass and they're filled with water. And it's like this little globe at the end and then a handle on each one. And so cup, cup, you're supposed to keep them cold, but coupled with the fact that Sunny so badly wanted, I one time pretty randomly, I mentioned, oh, you know, people have mini fridges in their bathroom and it keeps their skincare cold. Sunny, like I just said it once. I will say this about Sunny though. She is so in to the beauty counter world. I know. Like I keep she telling her someday so if you. To the like makeup and like, you know, like you did your holiday like photos and yeah. she was within six steps oh, she, of the yeah. whole time. Yep. Like that, it's just, there's something inside of her that like comes alive at yes. like the packaging and the way that you take pictures of it and like what it's it does so and sweet. it's so real. It's very specifically real. Specifically for, for her. Anyways. Yeah. So I mentioned it once. This was probably a couple weeks ago. Well, you had mentioned it because you had a preview of the holiday and you knew those oh, cold Oh, that's were, what it things. was. And I think she was like, what's that? Yeah. And I was like, you keep them cold, blah, blah, blah. So then from that moment on, hey, when's your fridge arrive? Yeah. I'm like, first of all, I didn't order one. I have to order one in order for it to arrive. So anyway, I ordered one. Yep. It got here super fast, which was amazing. So for the last maybe four days, the moment it arrived, we plugged it in, plugged She's that thing in. She checked it every 48 seconds to see if it was cold inside yet. Um, she continues to check and make sure yeah. it's still cold. It's so cute. And then she gets it out and rubs it around on her face. But she's kind of like, like not not like gentle. She's like a little uncertain, almost a little embarrassed that she even wants to try it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, it me. Um, Which is interesting. You are finding it me in all of life. You are finding out more and more as we as we raise our daughters mm-hmm. that there was so much of June that you were like, oh, she's so much like me. Uh, yeah. And it is. In the last year, two years, last year has shifted year, to like months, you year. realizing that, like, actually, Sunny's sunny, the one. Because June is much more goofy and silly uh-huh. than I think you were at her age. Like, at least that I'm aware of. You know, yeah. But like, Sunny's extremely hard on herself when she's not good at something immediately. Yeah. And Brooke's like, it me. Yeah. There's elements of Sunny's intenseness that we used to talk about in a kind-hearted way about her being athletic and her being you know, all these things. Burning with that, the passion of a thousand suns. That is not necessarily me. No. Like that was not me as a child. I don't necessarily connect to that now, but there are so many elements. But because she was that way, I thought, oh, there was this like, uh, uh, you know, unspoken. I wasn't really thinking about it, but I guess subconsciously it was like that she's not really anything like me. Right. And then I'm realizing, oh my goodness, she's like yeah. a lot like her, me. Her frustration. Her, I think her internal com- dialogue is, is similar. very similar to it mine. It just comes out as a fiery ball of fire. Yes. Which is, you know. Yeah. Yours. Yeah. I don't. Which, oh, it's, there's part of it that's easier because like at least she gets it out. Yeah. And talks about it where I think sometimes you hold it in too long. Yeah. Um, It was interesting. We had a babysitter to go out for Brooks. We'll get back to the face stuff. Uh, We had a babysitter to go out for a uh, birthday dinner, Ian and Bianca took us out and they paid for a babysitter. Amazing. Yeah. They're incredible. Um, and, uh, Sunny, right when we were getting back, mm-hmm. dropped a, a plastic lightsaber on her toe, like bruised her toenail. Yeah. Like from the then, underneath her toenail, it's like, like turning purple. Ran and bonked her head, like double. She hit her head on the underside of the table when she was getting something. So, it had a big welt. Yeah. And she is not good at being injured. Like she, it, it takes her a while to calm down yeah. from physical pain. And so she screams loudly, like mm-hmm. yeah. loudly. I know you're never really supposed to tell your kid, Hey, stop crying. But there have been moments in the sheer volume of that, like, that I'm like, you can cry, but you, literally you cannot cry that yeah. loud. Like you just can't. And so <laughs> we, uh, we we're getting up, getting them ready for bed. Babysitter left and she's sitting on the, the toilet trying to brush her teeth. And she's like, 
I had a really great time. I just got hurt at the end and it's making me mad. And I was like, I just, yeah, I was so proud of her. Yeah. Like, yeah, just, you know, like, obviously she's, she's five, but there have been times where I'm like, this girl will never be able to like, there are times, you know, as a dad, and I, and I know it's short-sighted for me as a dad to think this, but I'm like, will she ever be able to like, tell me what's actually wrong or will she just scream and run and, and melt cry down. and melt yeah. down? Yeah. And so like for her to articulate that, that like, I actually had a wonderful time. Those were her exact yeah. words. Mm -hmm. I just got hurt at the end. Yeah. Like yeah. I was just really encouraging myself. Aw, so, that's sweet. Sunny is just like, She's awesome. She's so wonderful. Yeah. And just, it, you know, <laughs> I don't know. There's, it just feels like we're, we're just scratching the surface of who Sunny is. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. So We've talked on, about it a little bit and I, I'd be interested to know if uh, other people feel this way about their different kids that like there are now I'm speaking in a very broad brush stroke yeah. terms about my kids, but it's easier for what I'm about to say to do it that way, that there's parts <coughs> of me that feels like I sort of have always known June. She is a very similar version mm. to who she was when she was very little. Yeah. She's just older now. Now, does she have more interests and yeah. more things? Absolutely. But the core of who she is seems like it has remained so the same. Mm -hmm. And with Sunny, I don't feel that way. Yeah. I she we were just talking about this, yeah. me and you. Like she is more of a surprise. Mm -hmm. Like she continues to surprise me with who she's becoming. And I don't know if that just means that like I had all these um assumptions or expectations. And then so I'm just surprised in comparison to those. And I wonder if, if that's but the case. I'm also like, I don't know. There's I wonder you know, if it's the case with like a harder, like she was a harder baby. Yeah. You very know, much so. she didn't sleep as well. You she had d dietary issues. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we always joke that like it was just kind of like the hurt locker when you put her down, like you were just like, all right, I step away. And then like the second you would back up her eyes would pop open and, yeah. you know, and so I wonder if like that part, like part Maybe. of that, like we were just like, oh, that was so hard. And we weren't even really like not paying attention, but like distracted by some of that stuff to not fully see That's very, very who possible. she was. And now we're not distracted by any of that. And yeah. we are seeing who she is Yeah, and it's delightful. But I, but I'm interested to see then if Daisy, yeah, when Daisy's eight, will yeah. I feel like, oh my word, that's just Daisy at as an eight year old, yeah. or am I like, who is this person, yeah. like that? And that's kind of how I, I just feel like. Anyway, do you feel like it happens with June at all? I, I, I feel like there it are does. moments where <laughs> I'm surprised. Like, you are way goofier than I there, ever that, thought. You that would be. would be it. There are moments where I'm just like, you are so silly and goofy and like. <laughs> <laughs> and it's awesome and I love it. But and that feels like a like the next layer out. Like yeah. a, like if she if the core of her is in the middle of the bullseye or whatever, yeah. and like the rings out or like <laughs> as she gets older, like a tree, yeah. right? She's getting rings for every year. There's like some of these outer ones that I'm like, okay, this is fun. The one thing and she's that only I, eight. That I actually that I did not expect with June that I that I'm very thankful that we're seeing is confidence. Mm -hmm. Like she was very timid as a child. Yeah. Um, and now, uh, to, even today coming home from church, I taught her Sunday school class and we're driving home and she's like, dad, I figured out something else I'm good at. Aww. And I was like, tell me, I want to know what is it? She's like, when they, when we do small groups, like I'm never afraid to talk. And I was like, you got that from your mom. Cause your mom feels so bad that the Someone's asked a I question. I feel so bad for the leader. <laughs> and she's like, no oh, one... no, I just like, no, like, I just, I'm just ready to talk. Oh, so and she's I'm feeling like, that yeah. more. Not the so much like, yeah. oh, I feel so bad for the person who's in charge. No one's answering. <laughs> I'll answer. Now I'm to the point where I actually legitimately don't mind answering. Yeah. But there was so much in my life where I was like, I am only speaking up first to save your butt. Because <laughs> I can't sit in this uncomfortableness <laughs> any longer. So I will sacrifice myself. <laughs> <laughs> go I'm first. All tribute. <laughs> um, anyway, so back to the fridge. Right. So obviously we put the cooling uh, well, facial glow thingies. She ordered a mini fridge. Yes. Sunny picked it out. It's bright pink. As bright a pink as you could possibly it's like get. It's like right bubblegum pink. Yeah. It's awesome though. It's great. It's, it's little, plugs in, also has a car outlet so we oh. can plug it in the car. <laughs> Amazing. I there, don't understand where you'd be going in a car that you couldn't just take a cooler. 
But I, I don't know. I guess if you were, if it was like, on, or maybe they're not thinking of a car, they're thinking of like a, like a RV situation, but then wouldn't you have a real outlet? I think so. Yeah. I, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it's got a car plug. Um, maybe we should take it to Costco. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> unplug it. It's got a little handle on top, carry it around inside, get our drinks out. Um. Anyway, so that was only a few days ago. And so because they're cold and because they're right there, yeah. I've been using them way more than I've ever used anything that's supposed to be cold. Cause I'm usually like, ah, oh, shoot. Yeah. And then yeah. I don't, you know, I don't go downstairs yeah. or I forget that it's downstairs. And then I yeah. don't use and it. I'm like, what's this? Marble yeah. What's thing this in weird fridge? thing in the fridge? I'm like, I oh, don't worry about it. Um, but anyway, so I have used them probably five times. And I, and, I, it and was, if I use it tonight, that would be six. And it was and, enough for me to come home yeah. and say, what, what's, what's going different? on with your face? <laughs> Just go to, to, tell me. <laughs> tell what, me. What, 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 show me what your thing do. Yeah. <laughs> show me what that thing do. <laughs> so anyway, I might keep going. I think you should. Yeah. I think you're deep. I mean, it makes yourself. sense. Like. Well, it's like cold plunge or like putting your face in ice water. Like Yes. But it also like all the um, lymphatic, is that how you say that? Like yeah. all the lymphatic drainage that's around your face and so much of the weight, like not like, not like how much you weigh weight, but like right. literally like it pulling down, like the weight of people's faces, especially in certain like really specific areas, it's totally connected to like really poor drainage underneath. Mm. And if you can just work it through, you can kind of like reshape your cheekbones and your jawbone and like the double chin area and all that stuff. Wow. And so, you know, all the videos I was watching, which weren't very many, but I just wanted to know if you were supposed to use them differently than like a gua sha tool. Okay. And it's a little different, but not really. You're kind of doing the same thing. It's just that it's a different shape and stuff. So I like anyway, it more I was than the what? gua sha tool. Yes, very much so. Okay. I also like that it's you have two. And so you can do your face like symmetrically. Kind of like when you dual baton. Exactly. Yeah. Symmetrical. Um, where was I going with this? Something about, oh, oh, and the videos are like, you know, <laughs> and with super light pressure, you know, next video, <laughs> so gentle, blah, blah, blah. Now I am very gentle, like under my eyes uh -huh. and like in the areas where I really don't want to tug and pull on my skin, but on like my <laughs> jaw <laughs> and like my like my actual jaw muscle, like on the, you know, on the side of my mouth, like, and underneath I am like, going at it yeah. so hard because of the tension <laughs> that's under there. Maybe that's why I look different because I'm just like no part. It's like a, it's like a meat pulverizer. <laughs> like I'm just like, <laughs> I am so tight under there, yeah. which I, as I was watching in a video, um, can cause your back to your lymphatic system. It can cause it not to like fully flush and drain. Mm -hmm. And so the tightness, like it's not just muscle tightness and discomfort. Like it, it's stopping something else from doing its full function as well. And so I was like, got to get in there. That's cool. Got to get all up in there. So we'll I'll link all that stuff in the show yeah. notes. I'm pretty sure they're going to sell out because they already sold out once. And I was yeah. like, oh gosh, and then maybe no. I'll find one on Amazon. I was like 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, but the fridge is on Amazon and it's great. Cool. You don't have to get pink, but you could. Well, you could. Yeah. You probably should. Um, wow. Anything. Face updates. <laughs> a lot of face talk. Mm-hmm. Face. I want to take his face off. Oh. Face off, starring Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Mm. Classic movie. I bet he's got a mini fridge for his skincare. <laughs> Nick Cage is a weird dude. Like, do you actually know about him, well, or are you just assuming that based on the no, roles he's taken? In? Based on the roles he's taken, and I also feel like there have been like I've. I mean, he's kind of like a meme in himself. Like, there's yeah. all the Nick Cage merch you can buy, like on Amazon and stuff. Yeah. But I feel like I've read stories or seen articles of like. You know, like twelve weird things Nick Cage bought at the height of his popularity. And oh it's like, yeah, you know, dragon's bones and like just weird stuff like that. Where you're just like, <laughs> okay, okay, you got okay, a vibe. okay, you got a vibe. Um, so anything going on? Me? And yeah, like outside of like literal tasks that are going on, <laughs> do you feel <laughs> like there's anything that you want to talk about or that you've been mm. learning or? Do you want to just like go to Google searches or, uh, well, sorry, excuse me. Um, I love that question. Is it the Do sponge? I hear grunge sponge? 
Yeah. It is Sunday night. Yeah. They the do sometimes, both of us listening and getting quiet. The sponge is the sponge. A little warm up. Not long. They don't have long to practice. No. They only got a. They only got 26 minutes, minutes and they got to be done, according to the HOA. According to Maui County. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was just our neighborhood. No. No, Ooh. I've read that noise order and it's so many in times. Detail. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that question. And I would like to say, Ooh, yes, I'm learning all these great things. I just, I, I, I'm not, I mean, it's not to say I'm not learning anything, but, um, cause I was Googling boa constrictors last night. So <laughs> I'm learning a lot of things, but, but like <laughs> terrifying. Don't look at the images of what they can eat and swallow. It's wild. Like <laughs> it's so scary. Um, but then they eat all that and then they can't move. Oh. Like they eat something so large that they are then stuck where they ate it mm. because they can't totally carry all that weight as they slither. Not like not always it depends on how big it is, yeah. but I was just like, well, you hope you eat it in a safe place. Yeah. Cause otherwise another, yeah, otherwise you're here for two weeks. You. Anyway. Um, no, I don't feel like I'm learning anything super deep, unfortunately. Yeah. But also I am very grateful and thankful that I'm aware because I've been through it before and I will go through it again where I'm like, it is just a season and this is not my forever life. Right. I don't have to spiral over like, oh my goodness, am I ever going to learn anything ever again? Yeah. Am I, is this, is this me? Have I, am I max knowledge and right. max like, yeah. you know, things that I'm thinking about. And it's just like, no, we, we are just in a very, um, busy task, busy task, yep. just like one thing after the other. I mean, literally just over, obey, like pound, 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 kind of like how I'm, you know, pounding my neck. Um, just <laughs> really going at it because we have a lot going on yeah. and that's great. Um, I have actually said to a few people lately, like we're really busy and I like never yeah. say that. And so I feel even nervous to say it because yeah, I'm like, we, I hope you have context yeah, or, that I'm not always busy. I feel like people use busy as sort of like a, a cop out. Oh, to like we're actually, busy. Yeah. And so we. Or we, they're actually busy with things that I'm like, do you need to be busy with yeah, that? But we anyway. We really try to stay away from that um, sort of language. Which is just helpful even just internally. Like if somebody said to me they're busy, I'm not really judgy of that. No. I'm like, that's great. Use that word if you want to use that word. Yeah. But it's helpful to me to not describe my life as busy because that does often to me feel like this, like um, just this, yeah, like, an, uh, like another big brush stroke. It's just yeah. kind of washed over everything. And then you don't really think about the specifics of underneath. And if I yeah. start to just say, well, we're really busy, then I, I lose touch on like all the things under that umbrella. I feel like busy is, and if you use the language, that's fine, but I would really encourage you not to. Uh, yeah, I'll be bold enough to say that because I feel like busy is a lie that we tell ourselves so frequently uh, that we start to believe. And yeah, then once yeah, we start that's to what believe, I'm saying. I have to like, it's, I, I need to take it out of my vocabulary for me. And once we start to believe that lie, I feel like we, we give less space for the Holy spirit to move because a busy person mm -hmm. can't stop and have a conversation with a friend that needs it in the moment. Mm -hmm. A busy person can't take extra time to talk to their children mm -hmm about something deep that's going on. A busy person can't do some of these things that the Holy Spirit might be pushing us towards. Mm -hmm. And it's not, and it's not to say that, 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 that will always happen. But if we say we're busy enough, if we constantly are saying, Oh, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. I'm so busy. Mm -hmm. We will eventually start to believe it. It's like, if we well, say similar to yeah. like, and if you, it's an identity you're yeah. proclaiming over yourself. Yeah. I'm so anxious. I'm so yeah. this, I'm so that. Constant, constant. Lazy, you speak dumb, it, speak it. You believe it. You believe it, and then you start to live like that. And yeah. if you live like that, you make your decisions like that, and it trickles down into everything you're doing. And suddenly, you're like, "What are we doing?" But like, I think who the am trap, I? Where am I? I think the trap with busyness is if if I run into a, someone I haven't seen in a while, and like, mm -hmm. "Oh, hey, how you been?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm so dumb." <laughs> they would stop and say, "Like, yeesh, no, no, okay, you're not. first of all, no, you're not." But if I say, "I'm It'd so be very busy, alarming." Yeah, if I say, "I'm so busy," oh. Yeah. Understandable. Understandable. I get That's it. That's great. Like, yeah. and so that identity becomes accepted by culture mm. and then we start to believe it. So like where some of the other stuff, some of the other damaging identities that we can kind of place on ourselves being dumb or, you know, that kind of stuff, like yeah. someone will speak out against that. Yeah. It's very rare that someone will say, I actually, I sell that, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so again, yeah. so we've just had like a very full 
season, I feel like what I'm learning. All that to say, I, I think what I'm learning is, 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 is I'm relearning the like, this is not my life forever. Right. Don't panic, bro. Yeah. It's going to be okay. You will read a book again. Yes. <laughs> Liter- like literally yeah. said that to myself. You will read a book again. Yeah. And <laughs> interesting. I'm reading three books right now. I know you are. Wow. Well, we get it. Yeah. I'm pretty Babe. cool. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to try to articulate this in a way that makes some semblance of sense. <laughs> okay. Um, so bear with me as I do. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go back to try to explain kind of what I feel like the Lord is teaching me right now, honestly, over the last two years. Okay. Okay. So, you know, we shut down our shop. I'm going to go way back. Okay. Shut down our shop for six months. Kind of like, who are we outside yeah. End of this? End of 2018 yeah. into mid 2019. Decide to bring back the shop in this new sort of pre-launch kind of model. Yep. It goes really well. We have success. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of surprising success. Like, oh, I was ready to get a full time job. Like, we were, it, it, it was like, kind of like, let's see if this works. And if it doesn't, we're going to totally change our life path. Yeah. Um, and so it did. Uh, COVID happened. Mm-hmm. And a lot, like a lot of e commerce brands, COVID just kind of exploded our business. Like, yeah. you know, people were at home, they got free money from the government, they shopped online. Nothing else to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so there was this, two year period where I think most e-commerce brands thought, Hey, this is the new normal. Yes. They've literally now been called the unicorn years. Like they are not normal business. But when you're in something like that happen, you think, Oh, we just figured this out. We're really good at this. Yeah. And, um, and so during those, those two years, we decided to move from Mannheim, Pennsylvania, Mm -hmm. uh, to the most expensive place. Literally, might I add a caveat of the move had nothing to do with financial success. No, 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 no. We no. weren't like, now we can afford to no, live 100%. there. Like, like it was the, such a separate story. Yes. And hopefully if you've heard that whole story, yeah. you're aware of that. But I feel the need to be like, it's not like we had good unicorn co- years yeah, and caveat. then 100%. now we moved. Um, yeah. so, so we moved to Maui, which I think Maui County is the most expensive county to live in, in the United States. <laughs> um, and we moved during hyperinflation. Mm-hmm. So, not only are we moving to a more expensive area, it's also like even more expensive than what people are used to in this area. Right. And then people now have more things to do with their money and time. And so the sales drop back down to right. what they were before. Right. Which is alarming to you as a small business owner. You right. think up and to the right is the way it should be. You mm-hmm. know that that's not a reality that's going to be, exist for all of time. <laughs> right. But anything outside of that, and if you own your small business, you're just like nodding along, like, right. yes, this is how it always should be. Right. This will make my life easy and all this kind of stuff. And so, <laughs> so that happens. And so things started to feel really, really tight for over the last two years. Not like scary tight, but just tighter than I expected them to be. Yeah. And so, um, that's kind of like we've had an ebb and flow in that. We've kind of had some success and some, you know, clench and and on all this <laughs> stuff. And so, all all that to say, it, it's been this sort of like, I feel like what I've held on to so tightly uh, in in my relationship with the Lord is like I trust you, but if you could just do this and this and this, I will trust you a lot more. Mm. Which is such a foolish way to live. Mm-hmm. Like, Mm -hmm. and and so what I feel like I've been learning in this like last year, as we've done these collections and, and seen sort of the ebb and flow of finances and business and all this kind of stuff, Mm -hmm. I feel like what I've learned is like, is like, I need to let go of that idea Mm -hmm. because like, I trust the Lord with my life. Like he saved my soul. Full stop. Just right there. Yes. Yes. And so why would I ever not trust him with anything else? Mm -hmm. And so- it's actually come to the point where like this collection, I was like, I need to like, I need to do whatever I can. Mm-hmm. The, I need to put in good work. I need to yeah. be a good steward of what I've been given. Yes, absolutely. I need to to, to bring my best mm-hmm. and plan and execute and maybe try some new things and, right. you know, tinker and, and do all the things business owners do and, 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 and let that be enough mm. and not you know, reload, reload the sales, check this, re- re- you know, compare it to last year, compare it to the unicorn years, compare it to 10 years, like, <laughs> you know, which is where I was basically all year. Mm-hmm. Like I've been doing that all year 
And this collection, I haven't. Mm-hmm. Like I, 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 you know, obviously I know and I'm aware of where we are in terms of percentages and all this kind of stuff. But what I haven't let it do, do is like affect my spirit mm-hmm. to say that God doesn't love me, mm-hmm. to say that I'm not good enough, or to say that I'm not worthy of success or whatever it is. Yeah. And it has been such like a life giving collection. Yes. And it's honestly not like it's not doing bad, but it's not you know it's not our best. Right. And but. I have had more peace over these last eight days mm. than I have over these last like 365. I can say that that, that feels, I mean, that is true, but I can also say that I can feel it. And so like in our home, in who you are, I can say yes, hundred percent. And, and so the reason I say this is not to like tell a business story. Right. It is to tell a story. The business is just where it comes out for me. Yes. Finances specifically is where it comes out for me. Yeah. And so whatever you are holding on to and mm-hmm. saying, Lord, I trust you enough, except with this thing mm-hmm. in my left hand that squeezed it, that has a white knuckle grip, mm-hmm. let it go. Like, mm. let it go and f- try to fully trust the Lord with all things, in all things, with all things. Yeah. And you will feel a peace that surpasses all understanding. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I'm just not stressed. Yeah. I, You're not. I, I You're literally not. cannot explain it because we've had three collections this year and every one I felt like I was growing an ulcer, just trying to determine what I did wrong mm-hmm. or what I could have done better or, you know, and, and for me that the chair behind all those is why doesn't the Lord love me enough? Mm. for that. Mm. And it's like, that's, uh, that, that's a lie. Yeah. The Lord loves me enough to save my soul. Yeah. And to give me eternal life. Mm-hmm. Like, so what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what about everything else? Right. And right. so not in like a, not in like a, not in know, like a don't narcissistic, like, you know, yeah. nothing matters type of way. But like, yeah, it's just been really freeing and really life giving. And I feel like there's a, uh, the joy of life has been rekindled in the last two weeks. Mm. Um, and not to say like I was walking around like a depressed oh, goodness, zombie no. or anything like that. No, no, but no. There was definitely tension in my life over feeling like I was unloved because this one thing didn't go exactly the way that I thought it should go. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, I'm sure we all have those things and yeah. they all probably look a little different for each of us. Mm-hmm. And Uh, there will be times like it's the gun I carry, you know, Mm. if we revert it back to last week, like it's the thing that I hold on to, to try to make myself feel secure when in reality, like Jesus is the most secure (laughs) thing ever in the history of time and space. Right. And so I'm learning to, to set it down Mm. and there will, you know, I'd like to say I set it down for life and I'll never pick it up again. Yeah. And I'd love to believe that that's true. And I hope that's true, but you know, I'm a flawed human and I'll probably try to pick it back up again, but Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to remember this moment in time because I've, for the first time in a long time, I've felt this sort of lightness and freeness of something that really has weighed heavy on me for the last two years. Yeah. And so that's just been really kind of cool to experience. Mm. I love it. And it's why, like I, you know, it's why I went on a 10 minute rant about being excited for moms on Maui because I, I'm, I'm like re like it, not only has it like made me feel a peace that surpasses all understanding. It's like rekindled my excitement for life. Mm. And like, instead of looking at business as like a, Oh, it's, it's not as good as it used to be. I'm not as good as I used to be. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at it as like, what's a, like it, it's now become that creative problem I can solve again. Yeah. It's become what's a creative solution we can come up with. Yeah. What's something new that we can try? What's something new that we can do? What what yeah. can we create? What can we build? Like what is one t- and and it's Which actually, is how I would describe you? 100%. That is who you are. Yes. And what's for, something new we can try? Yeah. Like that <laughs> that is you yeah. in a sentence. And, and I think yeah. what I'm learning is like the devil will use whatever's mm. clenched tight in your left hand to yep. take away that identity from you yep. and give you a new identity that is crap. Mm. The I'm busy identity. Right. You know, and it's yeah. just like, and so my new identity for the last 24 months has been, I'm not as good as I used to be. Yep. And if I'm not as good as I used to be, why should I try anything new? 
mm. because inevitably I will be bad at that too. And uh-huh. there's a lot. I'm not, I'm not like, uh-huh, as in like, yeah. that's accurate. But I mean, like, uh-huh, that's where you've been. And, and so it's hard. It yeah. has been hard. And yeah. I feel like I just hate it. Yeah. And uh, it's like, I don't want to go back to there. And I'm sorry to you, Brooke, that it mm. was, that was our reality for a while that I was just like, and it wasn't in all things. Like, no. I actually feel mm. like no. in a lot of areas of life, I've seen a lot of positive encouraging growth, but that was definitely like a dark cloud hanging over me that trickled into other areas of life. Yeah. So I think that's super common though with, with a dark cloud, like it gets heavy, literal one, and then it eventually rains. And so it does trickle into other Mm -hmm. areas, but that doesn't mean it's always hanging over all areas. Um, Yeah. So. I, I have really enjoyed for as many tasks as we've had and as, for how long the list is <laughs> of getting the ready for list. things. The mega list. You know, um, other than I think I had like one swirly day of work. Um, and again, that's not, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, I literally the book that I, <laughs> that I got that I hope to read someday. Cause I'm like, you will read again, Brooke. <laughs> um, I mean, I literally know nothing about it except the title caught my attention so aggressively on Amazon. You were the, checking out for your mini fridge. Well, I, oh. literally, well, I, literally, while I was buying. <laughs> well, no, 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 it was, it was before that. I was buying shell bags for moms on Maui, okay. um, <laughs> and so I was like, but it's all kind of the same order, and so it was, so I was yeah. Buying a book on boa constrictors and <laughs> right, you know, a picture book, huh? Um, <laughs> Monster. No, it's called. Um, oh my word! <laughs> Hard it. <laughs> No, I can't remember the specific title. (laughs) Oh man, brain, brain power not working. Hard is not the same thing as bad. Isn't that it? See, don't make fun of me. It's down on the counter. Hard is not the same thing as bad or hard does not equal bad. I think it's hard is not the same thing as bad. Um, all right, hold on. It's loading. (laughs) Well, now I've lost my train of thought and where I was going. Hard is not the same thing as bad. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with the connecting of that. <laughs> I was going somewhere and now I've lost it, but, um, <laughs> Oh, I said I had one swirly day. That's yeah. what it was. And I just had to remember that like I can have a hard swirly day. And that does not mean that this whole week is bad or this yeah. whole collection is bad or this whole, like whatever, you know? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. So like my encouragement in this no notes episode to you is like, if you felt like me and it could be something that's like, Oh, it's been happening over the last few months for me. It was like two years of just like off and on off here and, and there. On, feeling yeah. it And like, but not like, yeah, which is interesting. Cause like these last two years have been really beautiful and amazing in so yeah. many areas of life. Yeah. And it's like, but I can still now, like after these two weeks, look back and think, man, what a lot I missed out on so much of the goodness. Mm that the Lord has. And it's like, I don't want to miss out on that. I want to see the goodness Mm -hmm. of the Lord in the land of the living. Yeah. And I want to see it in all ways, good ways, bad way, like always. Mm. And, and, and even in the ways when it's hard, even in the ways when like, I feel like, like when I come to the end of myself, the goodness that I get to see is Jesus. Mm -hmm. The goodness that I get to see is his grace, his love, his joy, his peace, his Mm -hmm. patience, his kindness, his goodness, his gentleness, his faithfulness. Um, and, and so I look back on these last two years, which were very wonderful in yes. so many ways. Yes. And I think, man, why did I hold on to that? Mm. Why did I let that dictate some of my moments at my desk or mm-hmm. conversations with you or like, mm-hmm. you know, self talk? Yeah. Yeah. You know, why did I be, build into that identity that I'm busy identity? You know, right. which Quote for me unquote. was yeah, like, yeah. I used to be better at this. Right. Like, I'm not good at this anymore. I'm not good anymore. Like yeah. that was the, I built in, I, I kind of built that up in myself and, and to let that go. Just you like feels, fed it. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Um, it just feels really good. So, so for those of you, and it could be two years, it could be 10 years, could probably, you know, some the last few weeks. Yeah. I mean, it could be any amount of time. Just really like, I would encourage you to like, just let it go. Like do whatever you can to just let it go. Like mm-hmm. give it to Jesus, mm-hmm. you know, and, and we've been starting to do this at our, at our family dinner. We do like a sort of meditative prayer 
you you have better language for it than I. Than what I it's do. called? Yeah, well, what, the name of the the literal practice is called the exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Where you you know, usually either usually I lead it or Brooke leads it, and, and whoever's not leading it participates in it. But mm-hmm. we just tell the kids to close their eyes mm-hmm. and to picture Jesus. Yeah. And Bianca and I just talked about it on one of our recent episodes, which I think is out. Because we batch two at a time, sometimes I'm confused as to okay. what's out and what's not. Okay. But we were we were literally just talking about it too yeah. because it is that it is that like powerful of a practice. It's like this perfect blend of super practical and literal in what you're being walked through, and mm-hmm. then also this like deeply spiritual experience yeah. combined. And it's it's just so cool. Yeah, and so I'll, I'll actually just do it right now, and 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 it, specifically for this topic. When we do it at our Friday night dinner, our Shabbat dinner, we do it on, ours is usually based around rest. Like, yeah. how are you going to find rest? What does Jesus give? What is Jesus taking from you mm-hmm. to, to give you rest? And then what is he giving back to like experience rest? Anyways. Right. So like, if, as long as you're not driving, I would encourage <laughs> you to close your eyes Yeah. and picture Jesus mm-hmm. sitting in front of you. Picture mm-hmm. the room that you're in. Or you could literally picture the room that you're sitting in. You could picture a different place. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of times, I think you're supposed to picture like Jesus with you in your most special place. Mm. Whatever that could be. That could be a made up place that's kind of like this yeah. <laughs> magical in a sense, or it could be a very literal. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it's a very literal place. Um, no. Yeah. Just picture yourself sitting with him in a place that is meaningful or special or holds some sort of significance. Because I think when you do it that way, it, it, it makes it feel so much more real. Um, and then you're supposed to picture Jesus. Like, what does he look like? What does he sound like? Um, what is his posture? What is his body language? Like all, what is his vibe, you know, towards you? And as you sit with that, you're then supposed to, when I've been walked through it, um, you're supposed to picture, and, and again, this is where the specificness of kind of what's being talked about, yeah. like, is it rest? Is it your fears? Is well, it your this or is it your that? We're, so we're talking about this if we're thing, they, this talking about this, false this identity thing, that right. So you're talking to, okay, that's great. So I want you to picture the thing you have so tightly in your left hand, as TJ said, or um, this identity um, I want you to like name the identity or the lie or the that thing that pops up when you're asked the question. I want you to name it. And then if you can, um, picture it as something literal, like an actual physical thing that you could hold. And then I want you to take that thing and hand it over to Jesus. Picture what that looks like. Do that in your mind. Do that in your spirit. And then the the amazing thing about Jesus is that um, I, I just, I believe that when we ask and when we show up, that like he doesn't leave us empty and he doesn't leave us empty handed. He always fills and he's always there. And so as you hand over the thing that you're picturing, He's going to hand you something back. What is it? What does it mean? Even if you don't know what it means, just like sit with it and know that um, the thing you handed to him is safe with him, is no longer needed when it's with him. And then sit in the moment of what he exchanged with you. Yeah. And so I'll just share, cause I just went through it, literally was doing it in my mind. Mm. And so I think it's helpful to share what it looked like. Yeah. I yeah. think it's a, yeah, I, I, I think it'd be really cool. And I have not done this, but I know that this would be cool. That cool makes it sound like, like, like I I mean so much more than like that, like way deeper than cool, if you will. But like, um, life, life life changing, amazing, whatever word you want. If it was like, if you journaled it constantly, Mm. like if every Friday night when we did this, we all wrote down our stuff and then to look on that after a year Mm -hmm. 
the point of a journal to look at it at any point in time yeah. over any amount of time. Because when you see it progress like that, it you see it unfold. Yeah, it's been interesting as we've been doing it. Uh, Sunny tries to avoid it because mm -hmm. it makes her so emotional. Yeah. And, you know, but like we want to practice those emotions. Yeah. And so we don't do it every week, but we try to do it as often. So, so as you were saying that for me, what is like grip tightly in my left hand, which is so interesting. When I was a kid. It is so interesting what pops up, isn't it? When I was a kid and I used to get sick, I would have these horrible nightmares mm -hmm. of can't explain it other than giant spiked balls mm -hmm. almost like the end of what's like that a, like, like one a, of those like a mace like a medieval a, yeah, like, a like medieval, thing you like swing and it's like a spiky being ball shot at me and like chasing me and like mm -hmm. i would like have fever dreams over this and, yeah um and like I, I remember as a kid having these very weird like i felt like i was like i can't even explain it accurately but very like not out of body experiences but like but a little bit yeah, when it's, like, especially when you add like the fever sickness yeah. element to it. But I was always like scared of these giant spike balls. So when, as you were saying that, like what was mm -hmm. tightly gripped in my left hand was like this sort of like destroyed, melted, gross, somewhat spiky, rusty mm -hmm. ball mm -hmm. that just like, like it hurts to hold. Yeah. It's painful in my hand. Yeah. And so that's what I gave to him. And then. When you asked. What he gave back. It was just a blanket. Mm. And it was just like. A, just like a. Warm. Soft. Mm. Blanket. Mm -hmm. And as we look to Jesus. And we give him this sort of like mangled. Painful. Hard thing to hold that we hold for way too long mm -hmm. and we squeeze way too tight, which causes even more pain. Like in return, he's just covering me with a soft, gentle, comfortable, safe blanket. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty good. So it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. What's that? Um, uh, that new album, he did a country one now. Corey Asbury. Corey Asbury, who's not a, traditionally a country artist, right? right or yeah. sounding in, no. in that way. But he has a new album out. Yeah. Um, and yeah, when you said The Blanket and you were talking about that, what I heard was one of my favorite songs on that whole album, which is, and all he's ever been is kind. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just, it's such a great, it's such a fantastic song. Um, and yeah, and the exchange is so, it's, it's so powerful. It really is. Um, yeah. Anyways, so good thing we recorded that. <laughs> um, yes, thank you for listening. Mm. Thank you for making us a part of your week. Are uh, we are we taking a break? Yeah, true that. Good <laughs> point. So I'm leaving uh, in three days. Yes. To go to the mainland for 11, 12 days. Yeah. Um, and so instead of trying to like batch a bunch of, like add that to the already like house getting ready, clean, all that <laughs> kind of stuff, we just decided we're going to take a two week uh, I think it's two weeks podcast break. Right. So we will be back. Blah, 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 blah. So this comes out on the ninth. Yep. We're, we will not be doing one the 16th or the 23rd. Right. But we will be back the 30th, baby. Back. Wow. So end of the October by then. In the meantime, houses. Uh, you can shop the collection. Yep. Through the morning of the 11th, even though we say the 10th. And, uh, <laughs> The podcast doesn't grow without you. So if you want to send an episode mm -hmm. to a friend, that's always super helpful because uh, it helps more people hear it, yeah. which is cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's how sharing things works. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening. Thank you for making us part of your week. <laughs> okay, okay. I love, I love you. you. Bye. bye.